Hi, welcome to Exam Debug. I'm Chris McKenna, and we're continuing today to work through our course on systems analysis. So this is going to be our final one, which is evaluation. So if this is your first video, it'd be a good idea to jump back to the beginning and work your way through it. If you followed them all, then congratulations, well done, you're doing very well. There's a lot going on here. So with evaluation, we're kind of going in a full circle again. So we're almost going back to analysis, sort of. There's other stuff as well. But the thing to think of, or the important thing that you're often asked in the exam, is what's the difference between analysis and evaluation? So analysis is focused on the old system. And evaluation is focused on the new system. So really they are you know, twin brothers to some extent. But as long as you're clear that this is looking at the old system, this is looking at the new system, and then we could effectively at this point replace one with the other and go back to the start again. So after evaluation, we may decide that things haven't worked out quite as planned. And so we'd have to go back and redesign, redevelop and test, implement, document, and other stuff like that. So it's kind of like the writing process if you've done that in English. You follow along to the end, you ask yourself, did this work out? If yes, you can release your product, or you can release the system. If it didn't work out, you've got to go back and fix those things that are holding back your new system. Okay, so once we get into the evaluation phase, there are, there are lots of different things we can look at, but the four main ones we probably want to think about today are things like limitations. Um, is there anywhere in the system that is holding us back that we could fix or improve? Uh, if the answer to that is yes, and we have the money and time and other things, then we should be going back to redesign and fix these hopefully small parts of the system. Um, likewise, uh, we might want to think about future improvements. I mean, maybe, maybe there are limitations, but we don't have time and we don't have money. So we might put these down as things that we want to improve in the future for the system. Um, or maybe we just don't have the technology uh, yet. But you can see something coming up that we could use in the system later, perhaps. Uh, one of the big ones we're going to be doing, though, is a performance performance comparison. So assuming in the analysis stage that we, we took information on how long it took to do certain tasks, uh, we could then compare that with the new system. For example, uh, let's say our restaurant has brought in concept keyboards for our staff so that they can just press on Big Mac and it will uh, order a Big Mac rather than having to type it out. So we could measure how long did it take us before to serve one customer? How long does it take us now to serve one customer? And what's been the time saving um, because of that? So we can compare the two systems in terms of time, money, productivity, depending on what is our biggest factors. And finally, feedback. So uh, we need to go back and speak to the people we spoke to before or get information from the people we got the information from before and see if we have actually resolved the issues that we were hoping to resolve. So we could do more fact finding, this time on the new system. Uh, for those of you who remember the analysis stage, there are four types of fact finding, which are observation, questionnaire, interview, and existing documentation. So the existing documentation probably wouldn't count this time. But those first three we could use to try and get feedback from the users of the system to see how they feel about it now. Okay, so our last day at the gym, we come back, uh, we finished our system, and it's all up and running. We've done our documentation. So I now have to evaluate, has this made any difference? So I could, as we mentioned before, I could do comparisons with timing for the staff. How long does it take to find a customer record using the database as opposed to the old paper system? Um, I would find any small problems that need fixing and again, go back and fix them. And if something turned out to be a major problem, then I'd have to go back and redesign the whole system, perhaps. 
Uh, likewise, I probably want to interview Mr. Awesome himself um, and find out if he has any new feelings, uh, something he feels particularly strongly about in terms of something that's not working in the new system. Um, maybe do a questionnaire of customers, see how they feel about the new system and things like this. So it depends on, of course, time and money that's available, but um, ideally you want to go into it in as much depth as you can, depending on the amount of time and money that you have. So what about your own system? Uh, for those of you that have been following, you've been making your own company and uh, adding to it as we went along. So what do you think you would evaluate in your own system? Can you come up with some examples based on your ideas? Okay, so that was just a little short one to finish off with today. Um, so let's go back and just very quickly review the main things that you're going to have to know uh, for the whole course. So first of all, you're going to have to know the six stages. Analysis, design, development and testing, implementation, documentation, and evaluation. So you're going to have to know them, and you're going to have to know them in order. Analysis, oh, obviously you have to know, in short, what each stage is about. Analysis, um, our key thing is going to be our four methods of fact-finding. So, as we said, uh, questionnaire, interview, observation, and documentation. In the design phase, we're going to be talking about um, how we make uh, how we plan the new system, and we're going to be talking about things like validation and verification in this stage. So you have to know uh, two methods of, val of um, sorry, verification, and which are double data entry and visual check, and you're going to have to be able to explain some validation rules like check digits, length check, character check, format check. Uh, these are going to be the design, mainly the main design questions that have come up in the past. In the development and testing one, we're talking about building the system and development, so building our design. And in the test phase, we're talking about the different uh, types of test data that we can have, which is normal, extreme, and abnormal. Implementation, we're talking about putting the new system into place, and we're talking about the four types of implementation. That is direct, parallel, pilot, and phased. And again, you have to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each. Documentation, uh, we're going to talk about the difference between user and technical documentation. What things would be user and which things would be technical. And in evaluation, you're going to talk about how to review the old system, what things might you be looking at, and probably there's been a lot of questions about what's the difference between evaluation and analysis, or which would belong to which stage. So dealing with the new system and dealing with the old system. Okay, so hopefully that summarizes it all together. Uh, if you've managed to finish a complete uh, document by going through about bringing up your own company and talking about that, then you know, feel free to post links to below or post any questions as well. Um, otherwise, uh, please check out our website, examdebug.com, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Uh, thank you very much. I hope it's been helpful, and good luck with your exams.